Ladies and gentlemen, please, will you bring your attention to me? Oh, it's time for Arsona. And the nice one is, is today it's going to be a relatively short one. We're covering the rest of August, which, based on my spoiler-free guide, 
uh, no charters run, some slight story events, but it's mainly some social building. So I could probably keep this to about two hours. So <laughs> well, let's just go ahead and get into it. Let's see, uh, for our nighttime activity. We're gonna go hang out at the mall. Bologna. Then we're gonna go increase our devil ring. Are you busy at the moment? If not, I can teach you a valuable life lesson. For your charge, of course. My, aren't you enthusiastic? Then let's not waste any more time. My schedule is so terribly packed. I don't usually have time for your average joke. You, know. you should be glad you're such a handsome boy. All right. Let's add a new word to our vocabulary today. Repeat after me. Placebo. Hmm. The stress is on the middle syllable. Very good. You're feigning interest well. A placebo is a pretend pill. Basically, it's a medicine to give you peace of mind. Imagine this. A supplement to eliminate those unsightly love handles without lifting a finger. Or a car navigation system that uses real-time image data to make your commute all the smoother. Or at least make it feel that way. These are just a fraction of our unique line of products. Wow! Huh? You're really wowed by those bogus products? I suppose one could see them as rather spectacular. Our business doesn't provide tangible benefits. It provides peace of mind. Take emergency supplies, for example. People feel safe just because they have them, don't they? As it turns out, <laughs> the more money people spend, the better they feel. Now then, that's it for today's lesson. You can pay me back when you make your first million. <laughs> I received somewhat questionable advice from President Tanaka. I understand him a little better now. Uh, they say the devil's in the details. Have you been keeping your promise? You didn't tell anyone, did you? If you go back on your word, you might be surprised to find your profile suddenly on an internet dating site. That wouldn't be the worst thing that happened to me. It's getting late, so I'll go back to the dorm. August 19th. Good morning. This is Elizabeth. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. One this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. Goodbye now. Well, okay then. Dumb people can't stay out of Tartarus. Alright. Now we're gonna go to Ima Todai. Yeah. 
Mamu Hayase. Hey, of course. You remember me, huh? You're gonna grab a bike eat. Wanna join me? Sure. Yeah. Let's see if you can get past it. The loser has to run 100 laps around the city. Ready? Not over yet. Oh, setting your strength for the last stretch, huh? <laughs> then let's do this. Go, 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 go! I'm impressed that you can talk and cheer and chant while you were scarfing food down. Hayase and I finished leaving at the same time. Oh, looks like it's a tie. <laughs> Not many people can keep up with me. I'm impressed. I thought I could win. That's so. Yes, it was close then. Oh. Had a lot of guts challenging me at Takoyaki, though. I respect that. I knew you had potential when I met you. I also has a fearless smile on his face. The star runner from the middle school is taking a shine to me. No better than a loss. I'll do like I promise and run a hundred laps around the city. You do whatever you think is best. I'm gonna go cook. I got a fight today. See you around. After scarfing down food, I'm gonna punish myself with this tie slash loss by going to cook food. Mm. Welcome back. What's up, dude? Damn, it's hot. Sweating like a pig over here, man. No. Stay strong, Yoi. The heat will only affect you if you allow it to. Of course, there are limits to that theory. Yeah. We're gonna hang out with Aki and Cook. Yeah. You know what I'm again? There's a lot for me to do by myself. I already have all the ingredients, so can you help me? Sure, I'll help. I owe you Thanks, let's just do it. I recently expanded my outdoor exercise regimen, and I wanted to boost my nutrition and match. So I got some pork liver today because it's supposed to be rich in iron. But I don't think it'll taste like much if I just boil it like usual. That's why I'm gonna try cooking a pork liver stir fry. I already looked up how to make it. Think you can help out? Bet. Good to hear. You like this dish too? I like food. I've already cleaned the meat ahead of time. All that's left is to cook the liver, and stir the chives and bean sprouts in. And that should be it. There's anything left over. Can we make some hot tacos? Wow, this is great. I guess it was a good thing I took the time for all that prep. They say a boxing match is decided before the bell even rings. Maybe this is kind of the same thing. <laughs> Sorry. Obviously, this wouldn't have been possible without your help. I've still got a lot to learn. But it's hard to make time for it with all my training and stuff. Maybe if I attach weights to the pan when I'm flipping, I could kill two birds with one stone. Uh, hi, 
migraine. <laughs> Talk about being an overachiever, dude. Yeesh, this is a scorcher. Oh man, it's already the 20th? Summer break's almost over. Not that I got anything to do. You'd think with special powers, the rest of the world wouldn't be so boring. I feel you. And I don't even have special powers. <sighs> yeah, it's her. What's she doing? Drawing? She's some kind of caricature artist? Nah, no way. There's no one around for her to draw. What the heck is she drawing then? There's nothing interesting here. Out of the way. You're blocking my view. Move. Huh? Oh, sorry. Oh, what's with those funky colors? What do you want? Nothing. My bad. Dude, how can she stand to wear that crazy outfit in this heat? And what was up with that weird drawing? I guess beauty is in the eye of the beholder? Eh. Oh well. The Lemakers, who brought you when Harry met Sally, we bring you when Junpei met Chid Chidori. Whatever. Vacation starting to wind down. Yeah, for daytime activity, going to Iwatodai. I think I have. Yes. Mistake there. That's not how you write, Gekokon. I know, I know. I hardly ever write it, so I just forgot how it looked for a second. I feel a little bad for all the people who've been campaigning to save the tree. Oh! Huh, speak of the devil! I'm writing a letter. Something I haven't done in ages. I'm used to the keyboard doing all the work for me. Why, is that surprising? I'm actually quite the net surfer, you know. A weird concept where an old, an old man and cat actually get along. Why a letter? No, oh, no, no, don't look. I'm shy. <laughs> We'll tell you when the time is right. Are you curious about the letter? Excited, perhaps? Even exhilarated? Excited. We are, too. Your enthusiasm is contagious, you know. Just talking with you is enough to make our hearts race. Just look at my wife. She's as giddy as a schoolgirl. The two seem to trust me deeply. Rank nine, bitches! That said, I, I hope we can wrap up the matter before your next visit. I parted with the other couple and went back to the door. Ah, General Bechobi. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hmm. How dare you tell the dog no? No means no. What are you telling him no to?
currently negotiating with Koromaru san. It's B. Koromaru san is prohibited from going out for a walk on his own. There were arrangements for Sonata san to accompany Koromaru san on his walk today. However, the scheduled time has passed, and Sonata san has yet to return. Koromaru san's patience has reached its limit. Koromaru san is requesting that you accompany him instead. Are you available to assist at the moment? Yeah, perfect timing. You are what they call a lifesaver. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> You're a good boy. You're a good boy. <laughs> a non human persona user. Now that is certainly unique. However, my fascination lies more with you. Good evening. There's no need for hostility. Now is hardly the time. Mm. Let's have a little chat. Come along. It doesn't seem to be hostile. What should I do? What exactly are you waiting for? Now then, I have a question for you. However, just demanding answers from you wouldn't be a very fair arrangement, now would it? I will answer one question of your own first. So, what do you want to know? Getting in, uh, you already, you already mentioned why I was trying to stop. So, what's your goal? We don't serve any particular grand purpose. Had you simply stayed your hands, we could have avoided a needless confrontation. In the beginning, we had no quarrel with you. Had you not decided to eliminate the dark hour, we wouldn't have had a reason to interfere. It is truly unfathomable. The power of a persona is a blessing granted only to us. Yet, you insist on ending the Dark Hour, knowing full well that your powers will be lost. Now, answer me this. Why? Are you trying to protect the world from the shadows? Interesting order. Is that truly how you feel? In this country, almost 5,000 people die in car accidents every year. And yet, there is no outcry against the existence of cars. Why do you suppose that is? It is because we value our own convenience over the lives of others. So then, why should we give up the powers we were bestowed? Do you know what a savior complex is? You are being trapped by a misguided way of thinking. We have no obligation to sacrifice what is ours to save others. Giving up your own life to save others is simply a waste. Your reason for fighting is one of obsession. Well. Do you continue to deny it because you can't accept the truth? There is no need to rush your decision. You should think carefully about it. We have been given a special power. And yours... Yours is particularly extraordinary. It's as if the Dark Hour has chosen you. Does it really make sense for you to reject this gift? 
To be fair, I didn't that ask to be chosen. That was all I had to say. Tonight is a new moon. You have ample time to reconsider before the moon waxes full again. Folded paper. With that, my debt to you is paid. Perhaps it might help you make up your mind. Well then, I shall be going. I trust you'll have changed your tune by the next time we meet. Holding a piece of paper with something written on it. Piece of paper for talking about. The new gear has eased summary, but we need to make new safety cartridges before handing them off to MK. The evoker weight is also an urgent matter. Fortunately, ample test subjects remain to. I returned to the dorm and reported what happened. Hey, um. Alright, so. Nighttime! The Biscate! Yep, we're gonna spend time with Mutachi. No, it's you. Hey, can you help me out, kid? I don't feel so good. Help me. I can't believe I let this happen. service to conduct. Signing the Heart Sutra with a hangover is gonna be rough. Back in the day, all I needed was a cold shower and I'd be fine no matter how much I drank. I guess I'm getting old, huh? Why do I get the feeling in some ways you could kind of relate to that, um? I don't know why, but it just feels like Always something that you've probably heard like in your these. life. To be alone. Hmm? You asking if there are other monks at my temple? My temple's small. I don't depend on nobody but myself. I'm the only one there. If you think about it, it's better to be alone. Less stress. Don't have to wait for someone else to get out of the bathroom when you need to go. My son took forever in there. I've been just waiting for some groceries to be delivered. Yeah, living alone is the way to achieve peace and serenity. Everything we see has form. No form has permanence. It's all in constant motion. Form has no self. Its true face is that of emptiness. And yet, form is emptiness, and emptiness is form. No two things in this world are the same. Well, to put it simply, no matter how hard you try to live your life right, else can always mess it up. True. Because form is emptiness. And emptiness is four. And all these squares make a circle. Maybe getting involved with you messed up my life a bit too. 
Contrary to his words, I can sense feelings of affection from Yutatsu. <laughs> well, it's finally November, um, which means Dragon Warrior 3 here soon. Rank 6. I'm gonna go home, kid. My head's killing me. Oh, yeah, about the memorial service. It was a seventh day memorial. It was only 19. Random murder victim. What a harsh world we live in. Be careful on your way home too, kid. I said goodbye to Mutatsu and went back to the dorm. Do 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 really annoy Rain if I wanted to a little bit, <laughs> but at the same time probably make him laugh. <laughs> to mention I get to eat here for free not just here but every restaurant in the strip mall they're all supporting me I'm the only one who can eat as much as I want wherever I want but I feel kind of bad like I'm taking advantage of their kindness so sometimes I pay the bill anyway someday I'll pay them back for everything but for now I gotta take whatever I can get that's why I have to make it big for everyone who's been helping me. Sounds like a lot of pressure. Well, I'd be lying if I said it wasn't. A little pressure can be a great motivator. All that matters is how you deal with it. By the way, who would you say is your biggest rival? can be your own worst enemy, but at the same time, your greatest ally. You do get it. Hmm. There isn't really anyone left who I want to compete with. The other guys on my team can't even keep up with me. I guess what I'm looking for is a real challenge. Hey, you should think about taking track more seriously. Then we can really push each other. We might even reach new limits together. I also see some potential in there. I feel like we're getting closer. Alright, we got Star up to rank 2 already. We'll catch each other between training sessions. Later. For nighttime activity. Welcome back. The next full moon will occur on September 5th. As such, we have approximately two weeks until our next mission. Oh! Hey, Anshan, you want to go on a mission to get some ice cream? Regarding that. My records indicate that consumption of ice cream may lead to health risks detrimental to our ability to carry out operations. Oh, hell no! Jeez, way to ruin ice cream. How could you ruin ice cream like that, I guess? I, I get you're a, a bot, but damn! <laughs> Alright, and we're gonna go hang out with... The monk again. Oh, you're here. Are you gonna stick around? Sure, why not? Those folks downstairs, they're probably around your age, huh? 
It looks like they're having fun drinking and dancing, but you look closely. Their eyes say otherwise. I bet they come here to relieve stress from the day. But I wonder if any of them are actually enjoying themselves. Stress won't go away unless you deal with the root of the issue. You can put it off, but it'll always come back. True. Why do this I feel like I'm getting my lessons from this game? The club to me. If those kids really want to relax. We should switch the music to the Heart Sutra. Hey, there's a microphone over there. Bring it over, kid. I'll perform a live sutra reading. You probably shouldn't. Don't underestimate me, kid. My reading of the Heart Sutra will change your life. But I guess you're right. This place is too small to recite it properly. I've got a kid around their age, you know. My one and only son. He'll be 21 this year. That's a little older than you. He's alive, that is. Seven. Good social stat progress. You think it's okay to leave the future of this country in the hands of these kids? Yeah, it's better than some of the adults we have to deal with in some ways. What if they all end up like me? Well, it ain't like I got high hopes for the future. Form is emptiness, and emptiness is form. All these squares make a circle, and I dropped a gallon of L uh, LSD. Oh, sorry. I'm done talking now. Go home before it gets too late, all right? I'll see you next time. All right, we're just burning through summer. Hey, have you seen Koro-chan? No, oh, just when I was about to brush him. Wait, is that bad? Again. He likes to step out front every so often to get some sunlight. Whew, thank goodness. Well, I guess it's not a big deal if he's just basking in the sun. Koro-chan would never bite or bark at people anyway. I agree with you there. However, we still have the responsibility of being his owners. I don't want to restrict his freedom too much, but we still have to be mindful. I've been getting him to come back in whenever I notice he's gone out. Try to do the same if you ever happen to see him outside. <laughs> come on, Koromaru. It's time to come in. Responsibility, huh? Yeah, I guess that's true. He may be a Persona user, but he is still a dog. I see Koromaru outside, I should call out to him. Some puppy love. I'll hang out with you, doggo. Watching all the people passing by. Oh, is that you there, Koromaru? Do you remember me? I used to play shogi with the priest. Oh, 
Oh, he remembers. It's an adorable happy dog. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, dear. Hmm. I'm sorry, but do you mind if I rest here for a bit? All means. Much obliged. Sorry to bother you. Ah, down we go. <laughs> Years are catching up to me. Do you live here? In that case, I have to give you my thanks. So thank you. Taking Koromaru in is your family. A lot's been going on ever since the priest's accident. To tell you the truth, someone else was willing to take Koromaru in. A sweet and pleasant young lady. Koromaru took quite a shine to her. Only... Uh, you keep coming back to the shrine gate. I'm not sure what it was, but it seemed like he had some unfinished business. I like the tail wagon. That, no one else was able to take him in. However, if he's here now, I take it he achieved his goal then. <laughs> Mama's trying. Mama's trying. Happy doggo! <laughs> I see. He's such a cute little bumper. Well, He's happy. You, boy. To be honest, I don't really understand any of this. But if you do, then Koromaru must be happy. Koromaru's bright enough to choose where he wants to be. That means it must be his choice to be here with you. Be good to each other, will you? All right, I've rested plenty. We'll get out of your hair before it gets too late. Oh, see, Daisy. Sorry to be such a bother. Yes, would you mind taking half of what I'm carrying? <laughs> I love how adorable Cora looks when he's happy. You helped? Ah, I see. I believe Koromaru-san wants to thank you. He says, let's do it again. <laughs> I think Koromaru appreciates me. Not that he needed the help, but... Should we head in? It's almost Koro-chan's dinner time. I'll be preparing your dinner today, Koromaru-san. I hope you look forward to it. <laughs> Welcome back. I would like to ask you a question. Why do schools temporarily close during the summer? It's customary. I see. And after the allotted break period ends, school resumes. I comprehend. Good for you. So dance. If you wanna go ahead, oh, let's see. What are we gonna do tonight? 
so we're gonna go ahead and do this. We're gonna continue our doggo time, and we're gonna take Coromara for a walk. Well, well, if it isn't this young man, you're quite a rascal taken to the streets at this hour. <clears throat> Say, who's the little one? Don't tell me you're a father. Oh, looking closely, he's just a dog, isn't he? <laughs> Cute little thing. That's when I decided to make a tray to keep my glasses from being misplaced. But now I have no idea where I put the tray. Well, isn't he a ball of energy? I should take a cue from him and sprint my way home. With that, I bid you adieu. Put a motto and I return to the door. Alright, so it's just to the 23rd. <laughs> We'll see how fun we are. Part 2 of the Hall of Guardian set. Good, good. Soul Spinner Spot, you'll get two of them. We recommend making the Soul Spinner from the Dome. Not bad. Buff Potato Sprout. Why not? Thanks? But. You. Your soul must be burning bright. I can't say. You need to see reflected in your eyes. In the real world, if there is one. How far apart are they? Almost zero. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. oh, that's right. The words are very beautiful. I I to write I I down. And I have a felt with pain. It doesn't it uses red ink. Blood red ink. My pen is my folder. My spokesman and my phone. However, it seems to have disappeared. The body, my screen is a fire. The only thing that seems sad, apparently, is not the pen is nothing. Yeah, there you are. Something under Kormara's paw. My fountain pen. Back to Naganeki. Thank you. Welcome home, dear friend. I thank you for finding it. Now the mighty screen quietly gathered within me has regained its voice. My diary. My name is Akinare Kamiki. You. Have a seat if you like. I'll write something for the two of us. school girl. She was very bright. Her face shone with the warm light of new life. And then there's me, cooped up in the hospital, struggling to breathe. I'm just a faint glimmer compared to her dazzling light. Misery is a harsh mistress. I feel as though I'm lying in an unyielding darkness. Do you understand how I feel? I didn't think so.
Any day now, I'm going to die. I have an incurable hereditary disease. Unless you're in my situation, you can't understand how I feel. But I prefer it that way. I wouldn't wish this on anyone. There are no platitudes to stave off death. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to depress you or anything. It's been quite a while since I spoke to someone my own age. It's only natural for those dwelling in the depths of darkness to yearn for the light. I'm glad we could meet, though. If there is a god, I'll be able to thank him soon enough. Sun, baby. We got a sun to go with our moon. However, I doubt we will ever meet again. This was just a chance encounter, nothing more. Goodbye. I parted ways with Kamiki and then headed back to the dorm. Stays consistent, the cases of apathy syndrome will soon be on the rise. The shame since the trick summer vacation, but the shadows don't take breaks. We're gonna read with the reading a biography of the Empress Dowager from the Qing Dynasty. By many accounts, she was vilified as a ruthless despot during her reign. Then again, these kinds of stories are known to stretch the truth. Oh, pardon me. I'm getting ahead of myself. I should let you read first. The book recounts one woman's rise to power. Soon she led a turbulent life marked by cunning and backdoor power points. Reading this actually made me think. What is the right way for a person to rule? Too much kindness and you'll be seen as weak. Sometimes a ruler needs to be harsh. Even so, I imagine the Empress Dowager's final years must have been lonely, given that she was feared by her people. What do you think? A ruler is responsible for the lives of many others. Is it difficult for someone like that to find happiness like everyone else? We'll find our own happiness. Yeah, I think you just have to try. Oh! Did it sound like I was talking about myself? It wasn't my intent to complain. I know what I'm getting into. I do appreciate your concern, though. Thank you. You know, thanks to you, I've been able to sit down and reflect on a reading for the first time in a while. It really does help to have a partner going through the same book as you. Being able to discuss the material allows us to broaden our horizons even further. Things in your skill. Ailment first raises critical rate on foes with ailments. Nice. Such storied figures are often only written about after their passing, but surely sparks of their greatness could have been seen long before. Sometimes I find myself thinking you have that same potential. <laughs> Am I? 
I'd like to say I'm a fairly good judge of character. In other words, I have faith in your abilities. I hope you're up to the task. Oh, it's gotten late. We'd best turn in for the evening. Let's have another reading session here in the future. But for now, have a good night. You just don't know when to give up, do you? I'll come back as many times as I need to. I don't give up that easy. And my answer will be the same every time. Not going back. Actually, we got a new team member. Did you know animals can use personas too? Wait, what'd you just say? He's a dog. He lost his master to the shadows six months ago. And he's incredibly loyal, too. Up until now, he's been guarding the spot where his master was killed. It's been rough for him, but he's making the most of it. <sighs> huh? Oh, it's Sonata-san. Huh? Who's he talking to? I wouldn't want to butt in. We saw someone die right before our eyes, too. It'll be two years this October. <sighs> How long are you gonna beat yourself up over that? That's why you're always behind the station. Even though you don't actually hang out with anyone there. Doesn't matter. It was my fault. Nothing's ever going to change that. What does it matter if I come to terms with it? Won't change the past. This isn't like it was with your sister. What happened to Miki was different. Shinji. It's over now. I just want to forget it ever happened. Two years ago? Time activity. Yeah, I'm with mom she can't cook or clean or do anything on her own so i'm gonna be there to help her i think dad's gonna be okay by himself he can get along fine without me so um mom and i are gonna move away soon Hey, 
even if I bond, we'll still be friends, right? Mm -hmm. Friends forever. Ever and ever and ever, okay? You can't forget about me. Never, ever, okay? Okay, the summer week and the summer vacation will be over. I've been so busy that I don't think I've ever had a summer vacation that was so fulfilling before. Let's keep having fun these last few days and try not to let the summer heat bother us so much. Mm, we're gonna like, watch TV with cold water. Sure, I need the academic help. Another episode of um, uh, that docu-series about a wolf pack. In this one, a mischievous wolf pup is playing with his father. Mm. Little mother seems sad. seems fixated on the screen, his eyes hold a trace of longing. I wonder if he misses his parents. Watching how animals live in the wild helped me improve my academics. The restaurant is filled with a familiar smell of fish. <laughs> that enough appetizers? Excuse me, sir. Two bowls of the usual today. And as always, make sure one of them is extra large. Coming right up. Our bowls are replaced with two new fresh ones. Once you taste this, my friend, there is no going back. Ton, ton, ton noodles. Yes, that's three. Count them three tons. This is the crown jewel of the secret menu here. Even better than the Hagakure bowl. The simple salt-based broth, complemented by the rich, spicy miso sauce. It's like a microcosm of the miracle of creation. Wow. The incredible flavor melts away my troubles. It's all about that secret menu. Although, how will people find it if it's too secret? Eh, whatever. The harder I think about it, the hungrier I'm gonna get. Oh, sir! Don't toss out that first bowl, all right? That soup and I have unfinished business. This is a huge honor for you, you know? 
You're only the second person to taste this after me. Don't forget to blow on the noodles to cool them off. What a lucky guy you are. I mean, you get to be friends with me. And just so you know, you wouldn't be getting this with my younger brother. Because the Gourmet King's brother is not the Gourmet King. So, do you get me, hmm? Who am I? Go on, I want to hear it come out of your mouth. My word, not so loud! Are you trying to embarrass me? Here, have some of my boiled egg. I had a couple of bites, but it's still good. No more talking! The food's gonna be a chewy, flavorless mess if we don't eat up! Sir? Sir? You save that first bowl, right? Cause I'm gonna be needing it. Like you have some time to spare. Shall I give you some more valuable life lessons? Free of charge, of course. I like your attitude. <laughs> Today, I'll tell you a funny story. These days, even a grade schooler knows how to buy stocks online. How about you? Interested in stock trading? gains will be offset by outrageous fees don't let the fear of bankruptcy dissuade you it pays to be aggressive in the management of your assets my company just went public on the stock exchange since our sales were skyrocketing we decided to sell shares and guess what the number of shareholders skyrocketed too. And now listen, <laughs> this is the funny part. The majority of our shareholders <laughs> are also our customers. They keep buying more of our products, so of course the stock will rise. Isn't that hysterical? <laughs> you should learn to appreciate the irony. I know Rain does. I'm thinking of offering you a job, so Come up with some stories of your own. Devil rank three. Have you been keeping your promise? Uh, you didn't tell anyone, did you? If you go back on your word, I'll find out where you live and ring the doorbell every night. Okay. Twenty-six. Yuko and Kenji. We're gonna ignore them. Yeah. 
Waiting for our daytime activity. We're gonna go hang up a star. Yeah. Fancy today and adding an egg to my order. Whew, that hit the spot. You've got a lot of bang for your buck here. Man, can't remember the last time I had such a fresh egg. Maybe I should get some for them too. No, I meant my siblings. Uh, for them, actually. I look after them. Our apartment's pretty small, though, so we're packed like sardines. <laughs> you could say that. You wouldn't believe how hot it gets in the summer. I never mentioned this, but my father died five years ago. We were told his car fell off a cliff. I'm not fishing for sympathy or anything. I, I just thought you should know. Star of the Rank 3. Whoa, it's already this late? The preschool's gonna be letting out soon. See ya. Don't get very hot in the dorm. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad if we think of it like a sauna. Alright, we're gonna use the shared computer. Damn hotel internet. At least I got groceries. Hey, I wish a plus there. Welcome back. <laughs> So we're gonna do the mindful boot camp. Here's a software that teaches mindfulness meditation. Even those who have a hard time concentrating will be able to focus their minds with this program. Lessons on proper breathing and posture begin to play. My head feels clearer than before. My access be increased by five. Screw the sound test again. Clear 
Please, just wait a little while longer. Even if the tree is gone, you still live on inside us. Oh, uh, you're here. Uh, you you could have woken me up. <laughs> Why did you just want to admire my pretty face slipping like a baby? Uh, upsy daisy. Uh, we, we recently closed the book on a difficult matter, so I suppose the relief has put me at ease. Uh, it's the middle of the day, but I feel awfully sleepy. Why are you relieved? Uh, while we're all here, I, I think it's time we told you. Truth is, we sent a letter to Gekko Khan. We asked them to go ahead and cut the persimmon tree down. Just the reaction I was hoping for. It was more than worth it to surprise you like that. Sorry for doing this without running it by you. When we went to visit the tree together, I met a school faculty member on my way back. He told me the administration is planning to put up a new school building where the tree currently is. It would be selfish of an old man like me to deprive those young people of new learning opportunities. Helping children reach their potential is more important than clinging on to old memories. I think our son would agree. He was a teacher after all. That's true. Yes, we had a long talk about it and this was the conclusion we came to. You really set an example for young people, being so considerate to old folks like us. We pray with our son in heaven that more kind souls like you will graduate from Gekko Khan. Here, we'd like you to have this. It's the first fruit produced by the persimmon tree. A little rough around the edges, just like our son. My dear was the one who suggested we give it to you. This must be something very meaningful to see the both of them. The deep gratitude reached my heart. We got our second next! I am thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the Hierophant Arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form of the Hierophant within thyself. Hierophant social link has reached its maximum level. You can now fuse for you, the innate guardian of nature. Now, we have to cheer up and get on with our lives. We're too old to waste a single day. <laughs> if we kick the bucket while wasting our days away, I'm sure he'd laugh at us from heaven. It's hard on the parents to have such a well-respected son. Oh my. Does it sound like I'm boasting? Previous <laughs> <laughs> chatted until sunset. Perfect for training, so if you're going to Tartarus, I'll go with you. No, we're not going to Tartarus tonight. If you want to go ahead, 
We're gonna go hang out with an old timer. Tatsu stinks of alcohol more than he usually does. He must have been drinking a lot. Don't you think it's rude to make someone wait? Didn't Dad tell you not to do that, huh? Dad? Dad? Did you just call me Dad? Yeah, you always call me an old bastard, but you're only nice whenever you need some money. I thought you got in a drop dead somewhere or something. Don't make me worry like that. Where the hell are you wandering around? It's late. I'm just a friend. A friend, huh? Girl? It's a girl, ain't it? <laughs> Even though you're still sponging off your parents? <laughs> well, like father, like son, I guess. I guess Mutatsu was worried about me. I feel like I understand Mutatsu a little better now. Rank 8. Spending all my time with clients, missing anniversaries, birthdays. I wonder if they felt the same way I did. I was waiting for you earlier. Hey. And son. We were all together back when I was still a businessman. It's already been four years now since they left me. We used to stay out past midnight all the time. And my wife and I would always fight about it. Now when I go home, I, I don't know what to do with myself. So I just come here and drink every night. Are you running away? Yeah, you're absolutely right. I shaved my head, but that was just a show. I get drunk to avoid facing my problems. Oh so yeah, I guess you could say I'm running away. She hasn't contacted me since then. Must have gotten over me already. I have no idea where they are, or if they'd even want to see me. It's too much of a hassle. All right, kid, enough of the depressing talk. Let's get out of here. I want to go home and take a shower. I love the club with Mitatsu. On to the 28th. It's me. Sorry for interrupting, but do you have a moment to talk? Be right there. Good morning. The chairman is visiting again tonight. When the time comes, let's all meet up in the command room. I'll see you then. Okay. Alright. Okay. Oh, 
No, but I'm kind of in a hurry here, so let's just get some takoyaki. My siblings will pick everything clean. <laughs> Don't worry, your food's safe. Take your time. Oh, that was almost a personal best for me. Oh, get this. I've got a race lined up at another school. A coach from a big-time athletic college is gonna be there. You know what that means? If I do well enough, I might score a scholarship. That would be amazing. Right? Then I could keep doing track. I've pretty much given up on going to college. We just don't have that kind of money. And I heard about the chance for a scholarship, so you can imagine why I jumped on it, right? I'm gonna win this thing and go to college. And maybe this will make my mom's life a little easier. I thought it would. Yeah, you're right. It's a relief to hear you say that. I always think how different things would be if my dad were still alive. If he were here, my siblings wouldn't have to worry about whether or not they had to eat every day. Well, complaining won't accomplish anything. I'm just gonna have to try for that scholarship. Starved rank four already. Shoot! The sale on chicken is almost over, and it's my turn to cook tonight. I'll catch you later. Good to see everyone's here. Right, so what kind of meeting do we have now? All right, come on in. Excuse me, I hope I'm not interrupting. Huh? Amada-kun? <clears throat> no way. Based on our testing results, we've confirmed he has more than enough potential. Oh no. So, I decided to call this meeting to introduce him to the rest of the squad. Oh no. Wait, Mr. Chairman, he's only in elementary school. And besides... Besides... what? We've already confirmed he has the potential. With training, he should be a valuable asset to the team. Did he say he was okay with this? Actually, it was my idea to join. I feel like I can help too. And I think I finally understand why I have this power. Hmm? As you can see, it was his own decision. Looking forward to working with you. I'll try not to get in anyone's way. First dog, now child. I look forward to working with you as well. Thank you. I'm hoping to learn a lot. Hey, don't worry, kid. We got your back. It might get tough, but you gotta work hard and stick with it. Understood. Yeah, there's another new ally has joined. Santa Mata. He seems very level-headed for an elementary school student. As a team leader, I need to give him proper support. Oh god. <laughs> and he's already my highest level character. <laughs> oh god. <my bitch. sighs> okay, where do we go? Um, I'll just
spend time with Mikatsu. Really pushing him. the sutras. I can make easy money from donations. That's what I thought. That's why I set aside my pride and begged my parents to let me take over the temple. Every day is someone's death anniversary. Kind of makes you think how long people have been around. I'm working memorial service after memorial service 24-7. My little temple was some kind of convenience store. <laughs> That's only half true, kid. Sure, I've got no time for leisure, but I'm definitely not poor. It varies, of course, but an offering can sometimes be as much as a white-collar worker's year-end bonus. But, as you can see, too busy. I gotta push this old body of mine to the limit. I hate this work your ass off mentality. Maybe I should think of something else to do with my life. Can't keep this up for much longer. My alcohol tolerance is weaker too. I've been drinking too much lately. Making a fool of myself like I did the other day. Mm -hmm. Thanks. I know you're just trying to make me feel better, but I'll take it. Oh. Then how's this for an excuse? We never filed for divorce. I've got some pretty good real estate now that I've inherited this temple. It's not a bad deal. Got enough money that I can retire and just enjoy the rest of my life what do you think oh um well i'm thinking about asking him to come back you know my wife my son first i gotta find out where they are i'll hire a detective i don't care how much it costs. And when I see him, first thing I'm gonna do is tell him I'm sorry. From the bottom of my heart. Uh, I'm gonna be concentrating on them, so probably won't be seeing you anytime soon. Well, I'm glad this is it. One brat is all I can handle at a time. <laughs> I've gotta deal with my own son now. If I knew it was going to end up like this, I never would have become a monk. I guess I'll go to a detective agency tomorrow. Good morning, this is Elizabeth. 
I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. One this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. Goodbye now. So that makes two, I think. Uh, it's almost the start of the second semester already. And pretty soon, I'm gonna be a third year. Man, time goes by way too fast. Oh, it's her. And she's drawn again, huh? Again? Oh, well, but actually, I'm surprised you remember me. I could say the same about you. I mean, your outfit is pretty memorable. <sighs> so, uh, what are you working on? A drawing. Why? Uh, no real reason, I guess. I just thought it's pretty awesome to have something you're passionate about. It's nothing like that. I'm just drawing because I feel like it. Oh. Huh. Well, I still want to see it when you're done, if you don't mind. his daughter no matter how far away we're still family so I don't have to be sad family is special do you think I'll have a family of my own one day I'm sure you will yeah you're right I hope oh um when I'm all grown up, can we get married? <laughs> sure. <gasps> really? You promise? <laughs> Take this, okay? I made it just for you. A bead ring. Someday. Let's get real wedding rings. Michael's blushing. Apparently, she just proposed to me. <laughs> and we have another maxed out social link. I am thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the hanged man arcana hath been set free. 
we now bestow upon you. The ultimate form of the hanged man within thyself. Social link reaches maximum level. You can now fuse Addis, the god of sacrifice. Close your eyes, okay? Hmm? I felt a kiss on my cheek. <laughs> Don't be so shy. Well, bye bye. We'll see each other again, okay? I just know it. Welcome back. One week remains until the next quarter when additionally the last time keeping a number. I recommend continuing to assess the situation for any potential regulators. Today's lesson is called, the smaller the dog, the louder the bark. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to see through people's bathing suits at the beach? Um, sure have. My, I don't think I've ever seen you this enthusiastic. Consumers might be persuaded by such candor. We could position you as the boy next door. Our company ran an ad in uh, adult magazines proposing a special filter for digital cameras. Simply attach it to your camera and voila! Start peeping! Undress them with your camera's eye, it says. It's been selling like hotcakes. In fact, it's our number one seller. Unfortunately, customers have been complaining that it doesn't work. I told my staff to just ignore them. Nowhere does it guarantee that you'll be able to see anything. What are they gonna do? Tell everyone their creepy plan didn't work out? Sorry, bucko. By the way, try to cut back on the donuts and cupcakes, huh? I have an idea for an ad campaign. Women would go crazy over a handsome young man in swim trunks. You'd be perfect for the job. Have you been keeping your promise? You didn't tell anyone, did you? If you go back on your word, I'll edit your face into the most obscene material I can find. Child. I thought I'd remind you. There's only a week left until the next full moon. Are you ready? There are only a few trials left. So, make sure to be careful out there. I'll see you again sometime. Sure, why not? Thanks, kid. Bye bye.
gonna take it with me. No, uh, is it me? Mysterious Light and Ghost Tatsuya. Shinagawa. A gray colored sky stretches as far as the eye can see. A barren wasteland lies before me. Maya is staring into the distance. I saw you log on, so I brought you here with my magic. Sorry. I should apologize. About what? Uh, all that stuff I said. Well, I guess he's trouble. Remember how I said I would send our chat log to the admins before? I don't think I will. Is that why you're sorry? Kind of, but I meant something else too. Maya seems nervous. She's fidgeting on the sand with her feet. I read over our chat log and I didn't like what I saw. What kind of person plays an MMO just to bitch about co-workers? You shouldn't have had to put up with me doing that. Sorry. Some teacher I am, right? I know it'll look like I'm chickening out and stuff, but I'm thinking about clipping in the mouth today. I don't think I'll see you again. I miss you. I'll totally miss you more. Maya seems happy. Since no one can see my face on the interwebs, I said some pretty mean stuff. I might just have to look myself in the mirror and make it right. Yeah, right. I never would have figured this out without your help. Tatsuya taught me to be more thoughtful even when I'm not around people. I don't really trust me. And another maxed out social link. I am thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the Hermit Arcana has been set free. We now bestow upon you the ultimate form of the Hermit within thyself. The Hermit Social Link reached its maximum level. You can now fuse Arahabaki, the Aboriginal God. Well, I better go now. I drew something in the scene for you. Check the ground once I log off, okay? Kind of embarrassing, but I worked hard on it. If you upload a screen to your cell phone, you can keep it always. I don't ever cry during romance movies, but my eyes will be red tonight. Remember, let's think positive. GG, Tatsu, thanks for everything. Maya Claire signed off. I looked at the area where Maya was standing. A message is written in the sand. I read downward, love you. I saw the screen cap to my phone. After taking a moment to reminisce on my memories with Maya, I logged off the game. Oh, hello! Okay... It says he's gardening with Ibis. I've already got something in the plan for him, it's not going to be
watch out for all surprises. Good and bosses, good and bad, but nothing that ties us. Even while starting off from the distance made me feel a little better. I feel like I'm making progress, but I shouldn't get ahead of myself. Working through the pain, I managed to maintain my pace without stopping. Final stretch. How can I keep up with this and complete the challenge? Imagine eating something Simon said to help me maintain my pace. Time's up. I managed to eat the mountain of burgers. And boost academics. And boost the courage, which I needed. Oh no, charm. Yeah. meeting you here, huh? You're the one who keeps coming back. I'm Junfei. What's your name? You from around here? <sighs> oh, not even listening, huh? <laughs> Here's... your own business are you kidding i can't just ignore that uh gotta have something give me your hand i can wrap it up with this handkerchief why are you panicking huh who wouldn't be freaking out right now you gotta get to a doctor uh do you want me to go with you <sighs> you're a weird one Dory. Huh? My name. You asked, didn't you, Junpei? I am almost finished with the drawing. I doubt you'll be able to understand it. But if you want to see it so badly, then 
You know where to find me. Huh. All right. And... Uh, all right. So first, we're gonna go to Polonium Mall. We finally completed stuff. Marvelous. Ten Twilight Fragments. I'm looking forward to it. Are you accepting a request? Finally get this one. That's the proof of a bond. It's become a strong millionaire. Kind of trying to blitz. Do you see anything achievable? Form King and I. Yeah, looks like something like one will be done today. Wonderful. Mark. Uh, I like Most excellent. Marvel. Space bag. Hmm. You must know. I feel quite motivated. I will await a report of success. So we'll take a quick break here because this one's going to be a little involved.
Alright, we're back. Very well. Okay. Save. Just in case I'm wrong. Good day. Thank you. So let's ask Elizabeth out, knock out I've the Nagi. I've been Nagi. waiting for you. The Naginaki shrine usually doesn't take time. So this is a shrine. It's quite similar to a temple, is it not? A mysterious presence lurks here, though it is markedly different from a shadow. Well then, I shall first observe the local traditions and pay my respects. I wonder if this is enough. It hurts my soul seeing how much money she's dumping in there. And the longer I let it sit, the more it hurts. the effects of this mystical divine grace were proportional to the amount offered. In any event, I have finished presenting my offering. Come to think of it, this system of monetary offerings is very similar to that of the fountain. There are a great many locations in your world where supplicants may request good fortune. Money makes the world go round right now. You live in a truly wondrous place. Could those paper strips tied there be... Just as I thought. These are paper fortunes. I've heard of this game. People entrust their destiny to a slip of paper, finding the risk far too exhilarating. I see. There are many possible destinies written on them. Well then, I'd like to experiment with this for myself. Please wait here while I work on obtaining every single variation. I decided to wait until Elizabeth was satisfied. Excuse me. I've been curious ever since we arrived. But what is that equipment over there? Memory serves. These are a slide and a jungle gem, correct? I see, in the presence of a true god, upholding a pretense of gravitas is all but meaningless. What a magnanimous and introspective message. If that is the case... So graceful. Fascinating. In order to attain joy, one must first claw one's way to the very top. This playground equipment teaches a profound lesson on the true way of the world. Well, that was certainly entertaining. Now, could you please instruct me in the proper use of the jungle gem over here? Hmm? I can't get out. Oh boy. Oh dear. It's rather difficult to maintain one's balance. The day was even more enjoyable than our other outings thus far. Hmm. To be honest, lately I've been wondering, do I find this world enjoyable simply because of the novelty of the stimuli it presents? Or another possibility. Perhaps I enjoy myself on these excursions because of your company. In any event, I believe I'll have to negotiate with my master to install a horizontal bar in our room. I'd like for you to accompany me again sometime, if you wouldn't mind. Well then, I suppose we should call it a day. But before we do... I'd like to go on the slide one more time. Shall we seize the opportunity and go in tandem? <laughs> Ooh. After Elizabeth had her fun, we headed back to the velvet room together. Are you 
accepting a request? Let's hear the results. I must say that the harmony between the religion and recreation was indeed superb. Vitality is high. Very well then. Damn it, this kid's pretty bad. Just my freaking luck. Huh? How do you want? Can't you see I'm not really in the mood for talking right now? Wait, what do you got there? Bandages? In perfect timing. Can I have them? Thanks, man. Hmm. Well, that should work for now. Hmm, feel, feeling like I owe a punk like you doesn't sit right with me. You're a student, right? I'm guessing GeckoCon if you're from around here. Yeah, I'm not thanking you or nothing, but you can take this. I picked it up over at the station. Not like it's worth anything to me anyway. Student handbook. Drop my student handbook. You need something? I'm a little busy now. Hey, wait, the handbook you're holding. Can you see the student handbook? We're just looking for mine. This might be it. It is mine. Dude, thank you. Saved me. Oh, yeah, so thank you. Here, take this. Irresistible catnip. I got this for free when I was shopping at the Oniego Pharmacy, but I don't own a cat. Anyway, if you have, if you have no use for it, just give it to one of those cats at the strip mall. any of the deadline ones. Everything else I can do as I'm able to. Very well then. Sandwich. 
then an Age Pond, a Kane Pond, a Yakisoba Pond, a Pusurdo, another Aji Pond. Hmm. But I gotta have my rice, too. Mm. I... I think that might have been... too many carbs. Today, a girl in my class asked me, Who's that cute guy you went to Umayushi with? She wanted me to introduce you two so you could eat lunch together. Without me. Girls always go for guys like you. Or my little brother. I guess looks really are everything. But once we're dead, we'll all just be bones. You can't tell a handsome skeleton from an ugly one. Uh, not again! Why do my memories make me so damn hungry? Hey, waiter! Another tonkatsu special! While we wait for the food, let me share a little Sinryu poem I wrote. He who cut you is no friend, but he who cuts you, you flavor until the end. Huh? Oh. Oh! My... my stomach! Emergency! That was way too close. If that toilet was just a bit further away... Oh, boy. No, I'm fine. No worries. Everything's good and normal over here. Except for my weight, that is. Ah! Gourmet King shouldn't say things like that. I, I didn't mean to be so crass. I mean, who wants to talk about toilets while they're eating? I keep saying toilet. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, enough of that. Let's shovel that food down. We have to eat every chance we get, because once we're dead, all we'll be eating is dust. You know, just like my little brother. That was dark. Alright, and for our nighttime activity... Oh, it's you. Welcome back. The moon will be full again soon. I'm sure this goes without saying by now, but please make sure you're adequately prepared. Oh, I am. We're gonna watch TV with Kodomaru. It's the usual animal show. Today's the last day of the special on wolves. Kodomaru seems to sympathize with the wolves leader protecting the pack. He's giving me a look of fierce determination. I'll count on you. Kodamaru is focused even harder on the wolf pack even now. Compared to before, the look in Kodamaru's eyes seems to have changed. As if he's gained a sense of pride from the wolf's leader. Auto Secunda. Except the nighttime activities. And we're into September. The second semester begins today. Hey, 
Sounds like super jazzy, like super dancey. I can hear people talking. Good morning, summer vacation is over. What a bummer. Why does life suck? In that case. <laughs> Sounds like someone has Apple syndrome. Well, oh, what might be easier if you actually did? What? No. Do I really? You're right, it doesn't sound too bad. At least I wouldn't have to worry about everything. People are getting used to the African syndrome. Some people seem to think it's awful, while others think it's not so bad. First spell is wrong. Are you trying? Alright, quiet down. Summer vacation's over, you're back in school now, so act accordingly. We'll never get through the full textbook if you stay in vacation mode forever. So, okay, let's review. Eclipse. Which property of electricity is relevant to superconductivity? Is it? Yeah, that's right. That's right. I've been studying on this, see? Anything that reaches an electrical resistance is zero at a characteristic temperature is considered superconductive. As a result, electric currents can travel eternally through a superconductive circuit held at the proper temperature. Many years ago, I used this effect to confess my love to someone. My love for you was superconductive, I told them. Sure enough, my enthusiasm won her over and we started dating. But enthusiasm is a very scientific. Before too long, I lost interest in her. Alright, in the next section. Well, I gotta boost the charm. I think six is the highest it goes, doesn't it? Yeah. After school. Must ask, you wouldn't happen to have your own deck of tarot cards. No lie, I can try them on you. You can consult them regularly. You want a deck and you don't need them for some place. Let's do just that. Oh, while we're on the subject, how about a few things less than me? I warn you, it's a complicated subject, and we'll take some time. You want to hear? Cool. Very well, your fate is sealed. Today we will examine the most common use of the tarot, reading and speaking. Your small common in your unfortunate as such. For now, let's keep the simple one card spread, where you draw and interpret a single card. It will suffice for learning the basic methods of the tarot. So, continue on. Now, a quick word on the deck. For the best results, you want to use all 78 cards. But for today's explanation, we'll limit ourselves to the 22 major arcana. The procedure of telling fortunes via the tarot goes like so shuffle, cut, spread, and read. That is to say. That means making them all up, putting them in a pile, and lining up drawing cards, and examining them. When I say spread, I refer to how they will be presented. It's a concept I'll come back to several times. 
As such. I nearly forgot about the necessary preparation before handling the cards. Before one begins a prayer reading, mm -hmm. one's mind must be calm. Try to simultaneously unify and relax your consciousness. You must also stay focused on the goal of your reading to avoid wishful thinking and clouding the results. Once you relax, we'll begin. Place the cards face down on the table and hide their interest. Then the clients of the reading will shuffle or match the cards. Well, then. If you're reading your own fortune, then you perform this step on yourself. The most common method is to spread them on the table, mixing them in a circular motion with your left hand. The left hand is the agent of the subconscious mind. Yes, such. Or if you're clumsy or have, a, or have lost a hand, or what have you, you can use either or both hands. They don't matter. When the client is satisfied, make a single pile and thus complete the shuffling. And by pile, I mean a neat orderly stack. That is now, to the cutting the deck. Split the stack you've made into three piles and they're each roughly the same height. Normally, the client also performs the but the portrait collection will perform the step as well. Hmm. Just go out of spare to move you. It may be your own feelings and it may be a cult of inspiration. Reorganizing the three piles in the order of your choosing and combine them into one pile again. So, mm -hmm. continuing on. Once this is complete, the reader should take the pile. Mm -hmm. Be very careful during this step. You must preserve the direction of the cards originally fixed. If the client is someone else, turn the pile so the cards face the same direction that they were to you. Well then. And now it's finally time to draw a card. This is the spread phase. We're doing a one card spread, so turn over the top card and place it on the field to this card. In some methods, you specify which card from the top, but have to pop it for another time. The card on the field provides the answer to the client's question. Now, at last, the reading phase. First, we must understand the card's meaning. What card represents depends on if it's reversed or not. You do remember that much, yes? There are a few exceptions, but in general, a reverse card is native and has a different meaning. Once you understand the meaning of the card drawn, apply it to your question. Let inspiration last in the surface of your mind, then, well, form a story around it. I'll say it once more, develop your story around it. A story, I say! A story, your story, our... <clears throat> Excuse me, I went too far. Regardless, simply telling the client the card's meaning isn't considered a true reading. Using the clue derived from the card, but we must use their inspiration to look into the client's future. So, continuing on. It's important to converse with the client as well, to assist with your divinations. Tarot is both the skill of reading the cards and reading people. Perhaps I should save this for posterity. Is that each card's meaning? Didn't I hand out notes on that before? If you've lost them, you're on your own. Research that information on your own time. As such. Sure, I think that's enough of an explanation for today. Oh yes, one more thing. Always seal your inspiration with the fortune as the told. Say farewell to the car, for instance, or imagine cleaning yourself in a sleeping bag. If you don't seal your inspiration, you may draw on one for the Talking so much at once is quite crazy. Since you've been taking your studies so seriously, here's a little something. Take it and off you go. Okay! until we sit down to eat. But... I've decided to go to Kyushu with Emiru. So this'll be the last time we have ramen together. Emiri? Who's that she's with? I didn't think he'd get so serious about it. 
He's just a kid. He must have misunderstood. I did it for my own track record as a teacher. He, he should be grateful. Seems like he's the one who spread the rumors. And now other students are... Just a little longer. We'll celebrate our wedding soon enough. I can't wait. Emery. So, I guess today was the day she was leaving. I had no idea. I was so excited about going with her that I... I... Let me handle this. It's fine. I'm okay. Thanks, though, man. It's not Emery's fault anyway. I screwed things up. Not her. Magician up to rank nine. does it for a first day back. Well, you two have perfect timing. Perfect timing? For what? Hey, Fuka! Is Igus ready? Oh, no. Um, what do you think? <laughs> this is how I look now. Huh? Why is she wearing a school uniform? What's going on here? She said she wanted to go to school with us, so I told the others as a joke. But the chairman actually agreed, so now she's gonna start as a second year tomorrow. Seriously? He's down with that? He said something about studying her behavior in a social environment. Sounds like him, all right? He's cool with it, then I guess it's all right. Besides, I'd say it looks pretty good on her. Maybe even you? The school camouflage that Fuka-san provided is more than appropriate. It looks very natural on you. No one will suspect a thing. But why do you want to go to school? It's not like it's interesting. As the second semester commences, I intend to synchronize my schedule with everyone for maximum efficiency. If I remain here on standby, it could affect our deployment efficiency. To accommodate, I requested reassignment alongside our squad leader. Deployment efficiency, huh? Why do I feel like you being at school would make that even worse? I will make any necessary adaptations as the situation evolves. Sure, you do that. He says, I want to go to school too. Koromaru, no, you definitely have to stay here, okay? <laughs> Don't do it, Koromaru, it's a trap. That we are officially on to September 1st. So, next time we come through, if you want to go ahead, we can do whatever I'm showing you. Um, I think they said the next whatever like is, we can fill with the same. Hey, 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 you live the fire with the burning desire. Every day, the greatest fire that never expires. But we go chill to. Um, 
numbers. So the next full moon up is Saturday. And it looks like the night of the third we're doing a Tartarus run and it looks like it's gonna be a wall to wall. So so yeah, next Sunday is gonna be a long one, just trying to get through it plus probably Probably at least to like the 15th. That's half the month. So yeah, I think ideally we want to get to the 15th and so you know, we're going to have a full moon off, we're going to have uh, a Tartarus room, so yeah, we're going to we're gonna have a lot to do next time, so. The, the only nice thing is, is that I'm basically going to be doing that tomorrow, probably, on either Portable or FES, which I think I may do FES tomorrow. No, I may do Portable more, just because I seem to have an easier time. So I'll try and knock out Portable tomorrow, probably leave FES for Tuesday, so I have as much of a day as possible to do it. So, anyway, I will see you guys next time. No, I haven't, I don't do this too often anymore lately because it just feels like I never have enough, but I'm going to go ahead and raid somebody. I got four people, I can drop four people on somebody. Just who's going? Alright, I guess uh, we won't be doing already because I just don't have anybody on really doing anything right now. So, thank you guys for sticking around. Oh, thanks for being here. Always appreciated. Hope everything goes well. I'll see you guys early tomorrow to knock out Portable. Hope to get that done before anime night. So, good night, guys.